Hey everyone, so I am coming to you today to chat about my tiny little Perry Page printer that I got. I love it. Let me find the box. So I purchased this at a little, one of those pallet stores. It You can find it on Amazon. I bought, sorry, wasn't prepared. I bought a bunch of different types of label paper and just regular thermal paper. Um, I'm not going to get into the dynamics of it, but what I came here to show you, and I had an epiphany this morning, was I wonder if I can print something from my computer instead of having to use the app on my phone, and yes, I was able to. So, it did take me a little bit of playing around, and I did watch a YouTube video. I will try my best to link the YouTube video in the description, um, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So, I don't usually use Bing to search for things, so that's first off, but I opened up in another browser and when I searched for Perry Page app, I was hoping to find the app for my Windows computer. This link did not work. It didn't take me to the actual drivers to download for my Windows computer. Down here on this link is where I was able to find the drivers so I scrolled down oh shoot where is it it's one of it's this one it's this is the one that worked for me I downloaded it and it will bring it up in an executable file I believe that's how you say it oops sorry wrong button nope Gosh darn people, I'm so sorry. Okay, anyway, it'll bring it up here and then I ran the setup here and of course I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again. Now, uh, actually let me go ahead and open it and show you, oh, this is the not extracted one. Sorry, I closed that window. Okay, um, well, let me pause it. Oh my goodness, guys. So when I went back to the extracted folder I clicked on this and there's already word and excel <laughs> hold on I have to try this oh my goodness I cannot believe that I fiddle farted around figuring out the settings in word and they already had word and excel files in here let's give this a try let's see if this works I'm going to click enable editing I'm just going to print the um, example that they gave here to see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, Perry Page Printer is set up on here. And I'm going to click Print and let's see what happens. Okay, margins are pretty small. So I came here to tell you that this little thing will pop up every time. Click Yes. Okay. Oh my word, guys. Look. It flip a flap. It worked. Uh, I sat here and fiddled around with figuring out the word settings for way too long. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this font is not great for printing and reading, so I would use a different one. This is the one that I printed. Um, let me see here if I... If I didn't want to see here, let me, if I didn't want to print all of this, how, this is a me, I cannot, ugh, I'm flabbergasted. I cannot believe that I fiddled around trying to figure out the format for this size the whole time. And the YouTube video that I watched before he also had the problem with it cutting off right here so the little slicer on the printer would stop about halfway like about oh sorry it's not focusing like about right here and I was like well I'll just put some little periods at the bottom and that way it won't get cut off oh my word I'm just you know the things that I can learn <laughs> Anyway, it is possible to print from your computer for one of these. The reason that I wanted to do it is because I don't like fiddling around with my phone all the time. And I wanted to make myself quick little notes that I can print off and stick to my calendar, my physical calendar. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And, um, oh, 
actually, while I'm here, just in case, for whatever reason this doesn't work for you, um, which I don't know why it wouldn't, here's what I had to do in Word. I had to go to the Layout tab. I mean, you can get to page setup from multiple locations, but this is how I do it. And I had to change the width. It'll automatically be like in centimeters or millimeters. And I had to change it to match that um, and then make the margins really small. And then when you do that, it'll ask you if you want to fix it because it isn't, it is too small. So it fixes it, blah, blah, blah. And then, like I said, after I did this, I had to make some spaces, but I, the spaces wouldn't just print. It still cut off like right here at the address and I put the periods in and that's what made it be able to not get cut off. So anyway, there you go. Enjoy your little, little tutorial there. I hope it was helpful.